to start from just the ground zero. Yep, okay. we're good. This is where you hook up your three inch line to fill your rinse tank. The rinse tank is on the right hand side of the machine and you fill until water comes out of the top. Okay, once that's happened and you've got your tank sprayed empty, you switch from solution tank to rinse tank and from the spray position to the bypass position and you make sure that your valve in the cab is open and this valve is open. You turn on this and when you get 25 to 30 gallons of water, you shut this down, you switch this to solution tank. We, you have to switch that to solution tank, then you just turn it back on and you run through the bypass a little bit, spray just a little bit, then you go to tank rinse nozzles, let it run three to five minutes. After that is done, you stop, you go back to spray, and you spray your tank empty. Then you do the second rinse, which is back to rinse tank, back to bypass, turn it on, that same 25 to 30 gallons, because that's a 100 gallon tank and that gives you a little bit, three 30 gallon rinses roughly. You let it go until you hit your 30, you stop. Then you gotta remember to turn this to solution tank. You can leave this at bypass and you go up and you dump your tank cleaner in. And as you dump your tank cleaner in, it doesn't even hurt to put in a little bit of defoliant. And once you've got that in, then you turn it back on and you run just a few seconds through bypass, a few seconds at spray, then you go to tank rinse nozzles, leave it there for three minutes, five minutes. And while it's doing that, then you shut this off and you let it run through the tank rinse nozzles. And then after your approximately three to five minutes, you shut this off, you take this back to spray, and then you spray that out. And then the last time, the third rinse, you start on tank rinse, you switch back to bypass, you open your agitation again, you run in 30 gallons or until the tank is empty. So you don't have to suck the tank empty. If you get that 30 gallons again, you'll be good. And once you either got the 30 or it runs empty, then you can just stop, switch over to solution, take it to spray, turn it on. And after just a few seconds, you go to tank rinse nozzles. And at this time is when you need to be putting in your, your defoamer because you will have foam. And if you do get done rinsing, you still have foam in the tank, if you spray the defoamer on top of it, it will turn back to a liquid and you can run it out through here. But anyway, now it's on, it's rinsing through here, and then you can close this again, which will tow it down on foam. And after that next three to five minutes, then you stop, go back to spray here, leave this on solution tank, spray that out, and then when I get done, what I like to do is open this valve and drain everything that's left in the tank. And it depends on what you rinse, but if you really want to get a good rinse, then you have to take all your filters off and clean them, and then even put in another 20, 30 gallons of fresh water, open all of these valves up while it's folded out, and you'll run clean water through and the water will go out through the valves. It takes the course of least resistance. And then you take out all five small filters and the one big filter and you clean them to make sure they're free of residue. There's the main filter up there and there's five of these small filters and you put them back on. And then you make sure you close all your valves after you've done all this and make sure you have returned these valves to the right solution, spray, and to remember to open this. And usually you can run that about there and you, you'll get adequate agitation and not as much foam. And that's basically the rinse system.